today we're so interested in, this, in you know, the, the study of how some of these extreme climate events that we've been seeing, how they affect human societies. Do they affect them, you know, how do they affect them over a long term? How do they affect them over a, a wide geographic region? How does the same climate event play out in lots of different parts of the planet? Well, today, of course, we can watch that evolve when an event hits, but what happened in the past? Tree rings provide this incredible way to do that because they're these, these kind of passive sentinels recording time and lots of other things to go with that time. So in each time capsule that's locked away in a tree ring sequence, we have all kinds of information. We have the radiocarbon that was in the environment at the time that tree ring formed. We have maybe oxygen isotopes, maybe other carbon isotopes that tell us about rainfall, that might tell us about temperature. We can know that a tree is putting on a ring every year. And the amazing thing is that if we start with today, if you or I, if we went outside and we took a sample from under the bark of any of the trees that we see outside, we would find a ring forming and it would be this year's ring. So we know the date. And so we know the date of the one before and the one before and the one before and the one before. And the neat thing is about tree ring research is we can overlap these patterns back 12,000 years dated from today all the way back each year represented by a single ring. So that's an amazing way to measure time and it's an amazing archive and all the time we're finding new ways to unlock the secrets of the tree rings.